friends, my name is Shayla and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button so you can see more book slash geeky related videos. Today I'm here to bring you my wrap up for the month of May. I didn't get much reading done, but that's because I was also equally distracted with a couple of video games that I'm going to start out this video talking about. So the first game that was taking up a lot of my time was Rune Factory 4. This is a fun game that I've been playing on my Nintendo DS. It helps me practice battling skills because I didn't really get into much video gaming until I was an adult. You know, my brothers would just kind of take over the gaming consoles growing up and that's fine. I was totally cool with that at the time. But now that I'm older and I have a husband who's like, hey, come explore this with me. It's been really fun to kind of go and learn the mechanics on games myself. And the other game that has been taking up my time, especially more recently, is Persona 5. We've been playing that on our PS4. We take turns playing it. We kind of vie for the console at night anymore. We are both really enjoying our gameplay of Persona 5. So if you ever want to see videos related to either of these video games, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. So let's get on to the books, shall we? I only read six books this month. Because the video games took a lot of my time, I didn't end up reading quite as much as normal. Plus, work has been crazy and hectic. For those of you who don't know, I'm taking a brief break from my book-related Instagram account just for the month of June, just so I can focus my attention on our salon account and all those kind of things. So if you want to know, if you want to see what I do every day for work, you can check out that account. Um, I'll leave my regular, in my book-related Instagram account linked down below and you can find it through that one. It's like the second post. So anyway, let's get to the books, because that's what you're really here for. So first up, we're going to talk about Dragon Watch by Brandon Mole. This is what I would call book six in the Fablehaven series. I can't tell you anything about this book without spoiling the Fablehaven series for you, because the whole plot of this book is a big giant spoiler for Fablehaven. So all that you need to know is that the adventures of Kendra and Seth continue in this first book in his new... Fable Haven series. It really just feels like a continuation of the original series. This takes place a couple of months after the last book in the Fable Haven series ends. And I am really so excited to be back in this world. I really just enjoy the world that Brandon Mill created in this one. And I am excited to read more in this new adventure that they are on. Next up is a book that I surprisingly haven't filmed my review of yet but I still remember every fetching detail, and I'm sure you know which book I'm talking about, and that is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Maas. This is the third and concluding book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series. There are going to, There is going to be a spin-off series with some of the other characters after this, but this is the last book where it concerns Tamlin, Feyre, and Rysand. So this is the last book where they are the main plot, and I have to say I really enjoyed this. I am total trash for this series, and I'm not afraid to admit that, and I just really enjoyed my read of this. Was this the best book ever written? No. Did this book have problems? Yes. Did I still thoroughly enjoy it and give it a high rating? Yes. I do plan on filming a full review with my full thoughts on this book, so look forward to that coming soon. As soon as that's available, I will link it down below. What? Come here. You want to say hi? Somebody's needy. Say hi to the people, Kaladin. You going to say hi or are you going to stab me in the throat? You're going to stab me in the throat. Say hi. There you go. Sorry for that. <laughs> the next book is actually a nonfiction. And it's my first nonfiction of the year, surprisingly. And that is Lauren Graham's Talking As Fast As I Can. And I adored this book. It was just so fun to learn a little more about Lauren Graham and her background and where she came from and how she ended up becoming Lorelai. And I love her as Lorelai. And I was actually watching Gilmore Girls before I came to film this video. And I just love Lauren Graham and her character of Lorelai and everything she brought to that. So this was just a really fun biography that she did. And if you like Gilmore Girls, you will love this. And that's all I have to say about it. I gave it about what, three and a half, four stars? That's most of my autobiographies because they aren't super plot driven, but you do learn a lot about the person. Next up is Spindlefire by Alexa Hillier. And this is a take on Sleeping Beauty. I wouldn't necessarily call it a direct retelling. I would call it more of a reimagining. This has to do with Isabel and Aurora and the adventures that they go on 
Aurora is obviously your Sleeping Beauty character, and Isabel is her sister, who's not so pretty, and all of these things. And she kind of comes and fills in the blanks and saves the day, and all sorts of these things. It was a really interesting read. It left on a pretty big cliffhanger for me, so I do hope there's more in the series to come in the future. Alrighty, these last two books, one was a library book and one was one that I read digitally. The one that I read digitally is About Last Summer by Patricia B. Tai. I absolutely adored this book. It was a really cute summer contemporary. I gave it 4.5 stars. I do have a full review linked for you down below on this one, so if you want more of my thoughts on this particular book, you can go check out that review. And then, last but not least, is Jacob Have I Loved. And this was our neighborhood book club. We have like a YA middle grade book club where we read Newbery books, and this month we read Jacob Have I Loved. Now, growing up, I remember really loving this book. I was a middle child, kind of that stereotypical middle child, where I felt like all the blame ended up on me and all of these things. So to read this book through adult eyes was really interesting to me. I still probably wouldn't give it above like a 3.5 stars as an adult because the main character just drove me crazy. I wanted to strangle her. But anyway, <laughs> that's beyond the point. So when it comes to Jacob Have I Loved, I got to see it through different eyes, and that was a very interesting reading experience for me. So if there were ever any of those Newberries that you really loved as a kid but you don't really remember much about, I encourage you to go and reread them as an adult and see if you feel the same way about them. Because with Jacob Have I Loved, I do not feel the same way about it. I can see why I liked it as a kid, but as an adult, I'm like, no, that's not okay at all. So, all right, guys, those are the six books that I read this month and the two video games that took up a lot of my time and kept me from reading. Let me know in the comments down below how you spent the month of May, and I will see you next time. Bye.